going to start browsing the deep web. We're gonna check out some uh, some websites that are a l that are a little hard to come by, or they're just simply simply something you just don't see on the regular internet. So yeah, there, there's that. Using this uh, search engine called Torch, and yeah, this is a. Uh, this is where it all goes. Yeah, there's uh, a bunch of crap here. All right, here we go. We are going to cert look into DeepSec. In-depth security conference Europe, the Imperial Writing School, Vena. About DeepSec. So there's DeepSec 2020 is coming. So, so what I'm seeing here, it's like, it's like they're uh, looking for people that wants to get into this and that sort of thing. So that's uh, none, none too bad. And there's neutral. We are neutral and we stick to our principles. If a topic is interesting and important, we will consider a submission for our conference. We will not lock out individuals or organizations from submitting a talk or attending our conferences, and we hope that potential visitors share our stance and postures. Okay, so I, they have that going. And I guess the lit, it goes on. Just basically a meetup. That's basically what it is. Well. I mean, there's not a whole lot going on, but yeah. U.S. fake IDs. <laughs> U.S. fake driver license. Scannable, holograms, UV, etc. Our fake driver license are all scannable, contains original hologram and UV, microprint, laser engraving, etc. Shipping from the U.S. within 48 hours. We only sell. We only sell the best quality. You will not find better IDs anywhere. All right. So, so here's what I'm seeing here. One of those uh, fake ones where, where the site shows it off, but they don't deliver because they're probably gonna take your money. And second of all. It is very, very illegal to get yourself a fake driver's license. So you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to buy this. You're better off uh, just taking the t the driver's test and just do it like everyone else, the legal way, and actually learn how to drive properly and and pass the written test. You're better off doing doing that. Not a whole lot here. And, and then there's an FAQ. But yeah. Just a bunch of general crap that we don't need. Yeah, this, this doesn't seem like much. Alright, let alright, we'll move on to the next page. Hey, what do you know? The People's Drug Store. Pride ourselves on offering the best quality products at competitive prices and make every effort to go above and beyond when it comes to customer satisfaction. Choose a category by clicking on any of these following. Oh man, they have all this. Will you, will you look at that? I mean, tell others about this shop. Um, I can, uh, only on, only on here, but I would never, Again, disclaimer. Don't, 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 just, just, just don't buy drugs. Just, just bringing that up. Just a super quick PSA. All right, prescriptions. Yeah, they, they have a couple here. These. Well, if I were you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take random prescriptions just like that. I mean, I, I can see why people would, would want to sell them, because these things would make you high or whatever. 
and you get that high feel, but again, these things aren't really good for you. So, so I gotta say no to that. So, anyways, again, not a whole lot, not a whole lot to say about this. It seems super basic. And yeah, that's basically about it. Alrighty, let me move on to something else. I talked to some people on on the deep web. We're gonna we're gonna start a chat here. And who knows, maybe I might I might see if I can have some of these some of these people to join the chat on the clear net. It sounds a little crazy, but I'm just gonna try give this a try and see where it leads me to. Let me pretend to be a female and see what happens. Alright. Same here. Same here. Jeez, bro. <laughs> okay, I need to make up a name for this character. They were 21. Because apparently women around that age are are considered at they're considered at their prime so so we'll see what this guy is going to say probably after a few people yes yes i am oh shit, this person's from brazil huh let's see what what, what can i say what can i say Alberta. Oh, you're straight? No, um, lesbian. And yes, I'm from Canada. I like. So you only like women? Yes. First, your bubble. I'm just, uh... And talk to... I just say... About anything. About... I want to see you naked. What you say? Any news? <laughs> okay, this guy... Okay, okay, this guy look, is probably asking for it. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go online. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna send something to this. Uh, this individual here. Let's see. Copy image location. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, this is probably gonna be a little harder than I than anticipated. Let me. I'm just gonna send this. And then when the guy suspects he he that it's fake, then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be like, JK, I just trolled you or some or something like that. <laughs> he says, really, really, really. Okay, this guy sent something. Oh shoot, he sent something. Yeah, it it gives me it gives me a 404. <laughs> Jeez, but seriously, these links are broken. I can't, I can't even open it. And I'm already, and I'm already getting bored of them. So I'm gonna move on to something else. Oh, oh wait, he's not giving. Okay, this guy's being persistent. Jeez. Contact. All right, let me try this then. <laughs> okay, I'll just give him his I'll just give him a phone number. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to the FBI. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know this guy's gonna be persistent. I, I just wanna see this guy's reaction when he realizes that he <laughs> that it's not even real. Can Dream as much as you like. But then you probably shouldn't be asking for 
for stuff like that over a chat anyways because you'll never know if it's actually you're being trolled or whatever only you knew how to use google okay just remove the one yeah this bot he's gonna he's gonna okay it's either he comes up to <laughs> he found out FBI was the <laughs> got him. All right, but hey, it was it was fun. It was <laughs> you're so bad. It was it was nice talking to ya, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Adios. Nice talking. Lol. All right, this was this was funny. This was this was really funny. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, he's gonna say something else. <laughs> All right, we're done. That was th that reaction, though. All right, that is totally going on YouTube. Elated list, new era of intelligence. All right, so apparently this is this link here that I found on the deep web is like some kind of a uh, it's some kind of a uh, uh, site that search up relations between different organizations and person or something uh, so I guess the top companies are Exxon Mobile, uh, Walmart stores, Chevron, General Electric, all these other mainstream uh, corporations. The list. I guess we'll, uh, we'll we'll just click on something see what, see what happens. I guess we'll start by Walmart because this is on the deep web believe it or not. Okay Walmart contact for 190 I guess uh, if we were to click on any of these links, like for instance, we'll try AT&T and when we view the contacts, this is what this is what they're gonna go by. It looks like this website has already censored the e the contacts, so I mean all the are these are, are links. So let's see who else are there. So I mean, there's like a bunch here. So let me find. Uh... Hey, what do you know? There's Roadrunner. This is also the name of my of my track that I uploaded. Are, all these are just uh, associations and contacts. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot, but it, but it is interesting to know that all these companies are as all associated with Walmart. Hey, apparently we'll, we'll look at look up the military. There's a lot of these uh, guys here. There's the United States Army Corp of Engineers. We got the U.S. Army. The U.S. Navy, the Air Force, Army Recruiting Command, and uh, so many other branches of the military. Well, the U.S. military to be exact. B Hack Tool. FB Hack Tool is used by 58 users of Crackers. The name of the program file is crackbook.bat. The product was revealed by our Darknet Cyber Force and scanned for viruses. Hmm. Okay, that's that's good to know. Let me keep looking down here. So yeah, all these are are this is a FB hack tool. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have been around uh around a while because there was this meme. It's mostly within the hacker slash tech slash you know cybersecurity community there's this meme where where somebody asks are you a hacker and and they say yes uh, can can you can you hack facebook bruh
if if Facebook really is that vulnerable, don't you think everybody on Facebook would probably disappear, or, or they won't even be on that on that website? It's already bad enough that this website is uh, is becoming a becoming all all, dumb, all trashy. I mean, when I get on Facebook nowadays, all I see is uh, really bad memes, someone's daughter, and stuff that you shouldn't even be sharing on that site, and just political trash that I don't even care about, and it's a, Facebook is an awful platform nowadays, I can't even get on there without, uh, without seeing something cringy on the, on the newsfeed. I mean, the only the thing that sucks is that the majority of the people that I know and met in real life and people I met over the internet over the years, they all use Facebook and they refuse to use anything else. Even if I tell them there are other better alternatives, but I guess, but I guess they just don't want to accept it. Imagine Facebook is just gone the next day. Where are they going to, what are they going to use now? Are, I'm, what are they gonna use? Instagram? They're gonna use WhatsApp? Maybe, maybe TikTok? So the fact that they're even offering a hack for Facebook? Ridiculous. Facebook are, is already well aware of stuff like this, so they're definitely gonna patch up their website and exploit their website. But yeah. I mean, the fact that Facebook even owns uh, sites like Instagram and WhatsApp, and then recently they now they now got a hold of of Oculus Rift. I think I think we're much closer to heading towards a dystopian future where one day Facebook m may potentially become their own country, especially for how much data is being collected on users. But yeah, for all I know, this website seems to offer other stuff like best FPS games that you can play on this on PC this year. Hmm. All right, they have other stuff to other things to offer. So I guess we'll click on this link. All right, we'll we'll just open this new link and see what they have. Simple Windows Active Tool. What? Wait, wait, what? I just clicked on this link. Oh come on, you Yeah. Bruh. You just you just clickbaited me. It's it says Windows Active Tool. I just wanna go over there and be like, where's my money? Heck, since Facebook is so powerful, for all I know, they Maybe maybe in a not so distant future, they probably might either buy Disney or Disney will try to buy Facebook. Or they're gonna have like a like a battle on who's gonna buy each other first. I mean, if something like that ever happens, then I'd like to witness this uh, this crap show that that we're witnessing if it ever does. I mean, we are closer to living in a cyberpunk future. Well, I mean, for all I know, m there isn't really much else on here. These are just all leading me to links. So I guess uh, no actual hacks here. Oh well, I guess I'll move on to the next website and uh, see what else we'll find. Treat you right, Darknet vendor. Man, you know you're in an in for a treat when they when they have this message on. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Oh man. Look, looky here. Look what there's. Look what they have. They, they ain't kidding when they say they have quality con uh, contents. MDMA press pills. Oh man, this thing. Look, we have a. Uh, we have one of these drugs here with a spooky logo on it, saying that. Oh yeah, we're we ain't kidding around. We we're, we're the good stuff. We have a skull in front of in front of our our drug so so it must be good high quality hard pressed imported from netherlands each pill contains 300 milligrams mdma so inexperienced users should not take whole pills oh man 
I exactly don't know a whole lot about MDMA, but I bet the, these things are really gonna, really gonna get you knocked out, if anything. And, and of course, there's this powder looking uh, substance in here. Treat you right. Pure lavatory produced and tested. Kenname may come in powder or needles. Use responsibly. Have fun. More like have fun in hell. I'm never gonna try this crap, and neither should you. And of course, there is MDMA Crystal. Our manufacturing laboratories provide one of the most clear crystal. MDMA made from the highest quality precursors. We test every batch and collect customer feedback to provide quality control. Shipping MDMA from the US worldwide. Oh man. If, if anything, at first glance it looks like crystal meth. But it's actually MDMA. Ooh. So there you have it. This is a website that is selling uh, M MDMA, suggested by Alberto. So other than that, uh, there isn't much else I can say. And uh, I'm just going to be heading out and, uh, and call it a night here. Anyhow, um... There you have it, number two of, of Darknet Expedition. Uh, what else, what else, we even, uh, we end, the, and I, if anything, the highlight of this is trolling a, a dude on the, on the deep web chat. And yeah, we, 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 we got him, we got, we got him hard, that's for sure. So yeah, this is, uh, so there we have it. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this all up, call it a night, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go for number three for next month, and hopefully, hopefully we'll find something even more interesting, and even even more danger. And uh, yeah, till then, this is LR7 logging out. Yeah, there's a lot of links here. I didn't choose the pug life. The pug life chose me. Now we're witnessing pugs on the deep web. Damn. So much for that. <laughs>